Hi everyone, this lesson is on what to avoid if you're taking amlodipine or Norvasc. So we're going to talk about some foods and different medications and some alternative medicines that can interact with amlodipine to either increase or decrease its effectiveness. Before we talk about those things to avoid, let's talk about what amlodipine is. So amlodipine is a medication used to reduce blood pressure. And by reducing blood pressure, it reduces the risk of cardiac complications and strokes. And it may also be used in some cases to treat anginal chest pain or chronic stable angina. Now, amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker, meaning that it reduces blood pressure by blocking voltage-dependent L-type calcium channels. And by blocking these calcium channels, it inhibits vascular smooth muscle contractility, so it essentially prevents or reduces the ability of the blood vessels to contract. So it will lead to these blood vessels opening up, which would then reduce blood pressure. It can also lead to increases in smooth muscle relaxation and vasodilation. Now, amlodipine may cause a variety of mild and or severe side effects, and these can include peripheral edema. Peripheral edema is going to be the textbook side effect of amlodipine. But it can also lead to side effects like headache, fatigue, and hypotension if the dose of amlodipine is too high because amlodipine reduces the blood pressure, can actually reduce the blood pressure too much, leading to hypotension or a low blood pressure and other side effects as well. If you want more information on amlodipine side effects, please check out my lesson on that topic. But the topic of this lesson is that there are other factors that can increase or decrease the risk of amlodipine side effects, and we're going to talk about those in the upcoming slides. So before we talk about things that actually can impact or interfere with amlodipine effectiveness, let's talk about how amlodipine is actually metabolized. So amlodipine is actually metabolized in the liver, and it's metabolized by a cytochrome P450 enzyme that is in the liver, and this enzyme is CYP3A4 enzyme. This is the enzyme that is responsible for metabolism of many different medications, including amlodipine. So this enzyme in the liver leads to the metabolism of amlodipine into its metabolites. And as we will see, a lot of the things we want to avoid if we're taking amlodipine affect the metabolism of amlodipine, especially the effectiveness of this enzyme CYP3A4. Let's talk about some things that should be avoided if you are taking amlodipine. So one thing that should be avoided if you are taking amlodipine is grapefruit. So consuming grapefruits or drinking grapefruit juice should be avoided. So grapefruits and grapefruit juice actually interact and impact the metabolism of many medications and amlodipine is one of them. And it does this by inhibiting that enzyme we talked about before, CYP3A4 enzyme in the liver, reducing the metabolism of amlodipine. And because it reduces the metabolism of amlodipine, it can lead to increased levels of amlodipine in the blood and lead to increased likelihood of side effects, including peripheral edema and even hypotension or a low blood pressure. So because there's such high levels of amlodipine, we can see side effects more likely to occur, and we can also see the blood pressure dropping more than it should. So something else that may actually increase the risk of amlodipine use is alcohol. So consumption of alcoholic beverages like beer and wine may increase the risk of having certain side effects of amlodipine. So although alcohol doesn't have any direct or significant interactions with amlodipine, consumption of alcohol may lead to a further reduction in blood pressure, especially in moderate amounts of alcohol. So again, this can lead to an increased likelihood of hypotension. Ginseng can also interfere with amlodipine use as well. So Panax or Asian ginseng has been demonstrated to induce CYP3A4 enzyme activity. And again, this will lead to reduced amlodipine levels and reduced effectiveness of amlodipine. We can also see echinacea. So this is going to be a natural supplement that's often used for cold or flu symptoms. And echinacea itself has also been found to induce CYP3A4 enzyme activity. And again, this is going to lead to reduced levels of amlodipine and reduced blood pressure control. Now, an alternative medicine that may interact with amlodipine use is St. John's wort. So St. John's wort is a natural plant supplement used to treat serotonergic-related issues, one being depression. So this is often going to be used by some individuals to help with depressive-like symptoms, and it can be used for other conditions like fibromyalgia, for instance. And the reason that this should be avoided if you're taking amlodipine is because St. John's wort actually induces CYP3A4 enzyme activity in the liver. So it induces the activity of this enzyme, meaning that it increases or augments the metabolism of amlodipine. 
And because of this increased metabolism, it can lead to reduced amlodipine levels and reduced amlodipine effectiveness. Now, there are many different medications that can interact with amlodipine use, and one of them is going to be glucocorticoids. So steroids or glucocorticoids can be used for a variety of conditions. So they're often going to be used for flare-ups of autoimmune conditions like lupus and Crohn's disease. And they can also be used for treatment of particular infections. But when using glucocorticoids, they can actually induce CYP3A4 enzyme activity, again, leading to augmentation of metabolism of amlodipine and then leading to reduced amlodipine levels and reduced effectiveness. Now, another medication that should be avoided or changed if it's going to be used in combination with amlodipine is simvastatin. So simvastatin is a statin medication used to lower cholesterol, and it's been found that co-administration of simvastatin with amlodipine can lead to increased levels of simvastatin and associated side effects. So it can increase the risk of side effects like myalgias and hepatitis or an inflamed liver. So in this case, it's not simvastatin's effect on amlodipine, it's amlodipine's effect on simvastatin. And then amlodipine can also interact with certain immunosuppressant medications. Some of the examples can include tacrolimus and cyclosporin. So co-administration with tacrolimus or cyclosporin can lead to altered levels of these medications as well. So amlodipine can have effects on tacrolimus or cyclosporin and alter the levels of these medications. And another medication that can interact with amlodipine is sildenafil. So sildenafil or Viagra, if it's used with amlodipine, it can lead to excessive blood pressure reduction. So both amlodipine and sildenafil can reduce the blood pressure. So if they're both used together, it can lead to hypotension or low blood pressure. So patient may feel faint or feel dizzy. So if you want to learn more about amlodipine and its side effects, please check my lesson on the topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.